Well, you heard all of them. Some of your neighbors woke up to the sounds of rapid gunshots early this morning in East Nashville. Now those neighbors, as you can imagine, are on edge with the tense moments all caught on security camera video. News Force Tosin Fakile is live on Inga Street where the shooting happened. And Tosin, what did the neighbors have to say about this? Marius, with how heavy and rapid those gunshots were, neighbors tell me at first they thought they were hearing fireworks at 3 o'clock this morning. Turns out that was not the case. Well, I had just gone to bed. It was just before 3 o'clock, and I had turned my light out. And I heard, because of the way my house is situated, I heard the sound, and I could see flashes outside the tops of my window. And I thought for a second that it was fireworks, and then I realized pretty quickly that it wasn't fireworks. A shootout caught on camera. Police say it looks like two people were shooting at each other, and you can hear from the video several shots were fired. Do you know how many shots you may have heard? It seemed to be about 14 or so, but you could tell there were shots overlapping like it was two guns, so uh, I'm not 100% sure. And it seems one house took the brunt of the shooting. The homeowners did not want to go on camera for fear of retaliation, but I counted about 12 bullet holes in their home. Michael, who lives in the area, says the heavy gunfire was nerve wracking. It seems so out of place for this area. I don't know. I don't know what it would be because, you know, like I, I've been here almost four years and nothing like that has happened over here. You know, I hear stuff out in the area, but not not here so much. It's actually pretty gentrified and you see, you know, parents with kids walking the streets and people running and jogging uh, all the time. Um, so it's pretty, you know, it's a pretty calm, you know, it's a dead end street over here. So it's a pretty calm place to live. Now the homeowner, the homeowner with the bullet holes was pretty shaken up. He told me he's lived around that area for about 20 years and keeps to himself and just cannot understand why someone would do what they did. Now in that uh, security home footage, you could see a person or two running away from the scene. Now Marius police tells News 4 that nobody was hurt or injured in that shooting, but this case is still under investigation.